Hey guys, what's up? Shaforin here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get rid of controller drift on your Nintendo Switch, on your Joy-Cons, or your Pro Controller, which I will be using today. So, let's get right into this video. So, what you want to do to fix this is you will need two things. You need a straw. This is not necessary, but it's a... Uh, you would want it, it's better to have one of these. And also, electronic wipe. You don't need electronic wipe as well. Uh, you can use just like uh, any uh, disinfectant wipe, but it's better to use this because it's meant for electronics. And of course, you need your controller or your guns. And also, you can use you can use this trick on any, any controller, like Xbox, PS4, anything like that but today I'm going to be demonstrating with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So first what you want to do is take your disinfectant wipe, open it up, and then take it up. Take your controller and then just look around like this all the way around and see as you can see on my controller there's a bit of dust inside here everywhere and that's your main goal to get rid of that. So what you're going to do is just go around and just go like move this around clean all of it off inside all the corners like I'll get into there Boom, all the way around also what you want to do is kind of like press and then like pull it out and then like press that can like move some of the dust out I'm gonna do all that and then same thing with the other one. I already did this one before this video, so I'm just gonna be done with that. Then what you wanna do is take your straw and then put it in your mouth and then just like blow into all the corners so that it blows all the dust out. Cause the dust is what's um, like, it's on the, the thing that like it, it thinks that you're pushing down was actually the dust that's on top of it. That's why it's like slowly going like that. And so when you're like just like this and just nothing's moving. So what you wanna do is just go all the way around and just blow. And once you did that for both sides, you should be good to go. You can like push in and out and test it out. Also what you can do is go into your switch and then go into settings and go to the controllers tab in your settings. And there, there will be uh, like calibrate motion controls or um, control sticks. And you wanna press down on the one, so I'm gonna press down on the left stick because that's the one we just did. And you can just move it around in circles and see like even if you pull it out, if you push it in, it should always come back in the middle. Like if I'm not touching it, if I'm not touching it, it should stay in the middle. If I'm moving it in the direction I'm moving it, it should follow. I mean, that's kind of obvious, yeah, but as you can see, when I let go, it moves back. So thanks for watching, guys, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.